Hello Libra, welcome to your Terrascope reading for the lunar month beginning April 11th and ending May 11th of 2021. We're going to be looking at these three areas of your life, career and money, romance, and we'll finally sum up the video with a spiritual message for the month. Um, you can use the timestamps in the description box below to navigate through these particular sections of the video. With all that said, let's go ahead and get into your career and money. All right, let's see what Libra needs to know about career for the lunar month at hand. Let's see. Here we get Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. I'm getting a message, though, of um, that may be the case if you're in a spiritual career, but I'm also getting the message of really needing to rely on your intuition strongly this month. We also get Guinevere True Love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled, propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. I kind of feel like there's something here about your calling, something about uh, like your life purpose. It could be that you are being called more strongly to your life purpose and as it relates to your career. Um, that doesn't mean that you haven't already been living your life purpose, but I feel like there's some like, I don't know, like there's some, some al alignment that's going to be happening more so where your career is going to be more greatly aligned with you know, I'm not thinking of true love here about your actual romantic life because we're asking about career, but it's like your true, the true calling of your heart, that would be your life purpose. So somehow you're aligning more so with your life purpose. Um, imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. I think that there's something that you already kind of want to do which is aligned with your, your true calling. Um, and you have to believe it's possible to align with this. You also have to believe that you could have a new reality, a reality in terms of your career and life purpose that is different and better than your current circumstances. Wow, we also have magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. I feel like you guys might be doubting the possibility that you really could align with your life purpose in this kind of a way. You might feel for some reason that it's sort of like out of out of your capabilities or it's just um, not, a tr not realistic for you to be able to do whatever it is. But I think your heart is calling you in a certain direction for a reason this is your life purpose it's your it's knocking down your door and you have to believe let's see here okay we have ten of cups like i feel like the first thing you need to recognize is that whatever you're currently doing in your career it's not totally satisfying you that doesn't necessarily mean you have to completely leave it behind I definitely feel with this Eight of Cups reverse that you don't want to completely change your career. But there's something about it that does need an adjustment at the very least in order to allow you to be more aligned with the true vision that you actually have. When you really think about what you most want out of your life, there's something about your career as it is that is not allowing you to fulfill that. Yeah, it's like you're holding on to what you currently have out of a fear that something better isn't truly possible. But it is. It is. And you just, all you have to do is believe. That's all the magic that's required is simply believing that this fresh new life is possible. And then from there, it's like you will be aligned with the right people, people who share this vision, who can help support you in some way, people who will also believe in you. So if you're not surrounded now by people who would believe that you could accomplish this life purpose, surround yourself with those types of people by first being one of those people, right? So that's what I'm getting first of all uh, for your career. Let's go ahead and get into money. 
Let's see. I'm using a lot of decks for you guys. For some reason, I feel called to do that. Okay, so let's look at your money for this lunar month. What do we? What does Libra need to know about money? Okay, we get seven of wands reversed. I feel that there could be people making demands on your money, people who are... I don't know. It feels like you're sort of under siege, you know? It's like you're having to fend off people trying to get at your money. Other people want your money for themselves or something, or like lots of people are asking you for financial help right now or something. I think you're trying to like hide from these people. It's like you don't want them to know where you are. Yeah, it's like I feel like you don't want to get into an argument because some of these people could be friends or family who you do truly love and care about. And you don't want to have hostility with them. But at the same time, you're like, God, stop asking me for money. <laughs> so let's see. What is the advice for you? <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Let's see. I actually think that your guides are saying in some in some circumstances, I mean, listen, this is a public reading. It's not a, you know, so take it with a grain of salt. But like for some of you, I think, you know, because the four of want the four of pentacles often tells us that we're unnecessarily holding on to money. So it could be that, you know, if friends or family genuinely need a little bit of financial help from you, you might be you might be saying no out of like a scarcity mindset when the truth is you're not so hard up for money that you couldn't help them. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm getting. You know, take it for what it's worth. Um, yeah, but I mean, like, I do feel like, look, this person is holding out this pentacle very gladly. So it is, I do feel like the suggestion is that when you're, when you're refusing to be generous, you might feel that you have good reasons to, but when you're refusing to be generous, it can be a sort of a lack mindset or like a poverty mindset when in fact you are not, I don't feel, you know, with the two of pentacles reversed, you're not struggling so much with money. It's just you don't like, maybe you don't like the idea that people are hounding you for money. So is there a way to be generous without giving the impression that you can just always hound me for money whenever you want? Um, I feel like you probably don't think so because there's already a lot of hostility here. And you feel that, I feel like you feel that your perspective is right. Now, this could be a situation that is reversed as well. Maybe you're the one who's asking for money and someone's not being generous with you. But I kind of feel like, you know, if someone is in such hard times, I mean, we have literally someone carrying a hobo stick. You know, all of their material possessions are on their back. Like, if you love someone, are you going to abandon them when they're truly to the point where like they could be losing their house or like something like that, if you had the ability to help them or if someone could be without food, I do feel like the advice is to help to help as much as you can and to maybe really rethink, am I do I really need to hold on to this money or am I just trying to prove a point here? Okay, that's what I'm getting. I know some of you are going to like hate me and never watch my videos again after that. But anyway, that's what I'm getting. So I'm just going to speak the truth. Let's go ahead and move on to romance. All right. All right. So if you've looked at the timestamps, you should already know that I'm going to be looking at first at those of you who have a specific love interest, a specific connection in mind. And then for those of you who are wanting to know, is new love going to come in this lunar month? Then we'll look at that as well. So 
if you're just if you just have a specific person in mind and you're not interested in new love you you can just keep watching from here if you are specifically interested in new love you can use the timestamp to move ahead so hopefully that makes sense and i do want to point out um if you want to look at i have all these wonderful personal readings that i do offer if you want to purchase a personal reading i have these that are kind of um you know preset reading types and then i have these where you can ask your own specific questions and the pricing is based on the number of questions you want to ask so you can go ahead and pause and check these out if you want or just click the link below and go to my website and look at all that i have to offer um if you're signed up to my newsletter, I also give really significant discounts four times a year to my newsletter subscribers, so you might want to check that out. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So if you are watching and you have a specific person in mind, this could be a relationship partner or someone you just have feelings for and you just kind of want to check up on the energy uh, between the two of you this month, then go ahead and keep that person in your mind as I'm shuffling the cards. Okay, let me get some clarifiers here. I feel like um, whatever's going on with this person, I feel like the energy is very balanced between the two of you. I feel like you, um, you're you sort of sensing that whatever this connection is, it's about to improve, that you've been working on this relationship or this connection for some time. You've been hoping that it will improve for some time. I think your expectation is that it will improve. Um, I feel like the person you're asking about might have a different perspective on it, though. Because they're represented by the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So it's like, I feel like they are... They're feeling like there's a lot of conflict here. You know, and it's strange to me because I don't see you viewing it that way. You seem to be very optimistic that things are getting better. So it seems like the two of you have a very different perception here because they're feeling very hurt or they could feel that they've hurt you and maybe they don't realize that you're over it. You know, if they did hurt your feelings, you seem to be over it. But they don't feel that you are. They still feel like there's like a lingering animosity in the air between the two of you. And then reversed, or in the middle, this is the energy between the two of you. You get the Six of Pentacles and the Devil card reversed. I feel like, um, you know, we talked a little bit about generosity in the last section. For those of you who watched the money and career portion. I do feel that there is generosity here between the two of you with the devil reversed if people have been if either of you have been ungenerous towards each other in the past it seems like that's being reduced here with the devil reversed because there is generosity you both um and that could be monetarily speaking or in terms of like you know taking action to support each other or just giving each other words of affirmation both people are more willing to step up to the plate and do that, which is probably why you're feeling much more optimistic that things are headed in a positive direction. But you do need to understand that this person doesn't, doesn't realize that things are smoothed over. It could just be that they don't recognize that you're kind of, that you've let go of certain grievances. Um, yeah, I feel like this person feels a little bit guarded when it comes to you because they don't really feel... They're not really sure if you're over whatever, maybe some sort of argument or conflict that you had in the past. I do feel that this person cares about you, so it's not like they don't care about you, um, but they are sensing some space still that needs to be bridged. Okay, so what's the advice here? You definitely need to spend time with this person. 
Um, you can't just assume that it's going to get better without like actively like spending quality time with them, talking about feelings. Because this person, you know, there's a disconnect here. You know, like you're thinking things are great. They're not. So you need to explain to them how you feel so that they know that you feel positive. Because I don't think that they recognize that. And then likewise, um, if they are having negative feelings, you're not going to know about it and, unless you ask. So I do feel like there is mutual care and concern. I feel that things can be better but they're not necessarily better yet from this person's point of view. And it's just, like I said, it could just be because they don't know that you have let go of grievances or you've let go of some sort of conflict that previously happened between the two of you. All right. So that's what I'm getting for you, those of you who are asking about a specific connection. I hope that that's helpful. Let's go ahead and move on for those of you who are looking for new love and you just want to know, is new love coming this month? Is new love on the horizon? Let's see. Is new love on the horizon for Libra? Oh my, you're only the second sign to get a yes. And both yeses, you and Virgo both got a yes and you both had the Empress card come up. Yeah, we have the Empress card, the Seven of Cups. I feel like multiple options. Wow, you're going to be attracting a lot of interest this lunar month. Lots of people are going to be uh, coming at you. I feel like you'll have... You know, you're going to have options to choose from. We have the star reversed. So I would say your guidance here is like to take your time in evaluating these different options that are coming towards you because um, you deserve the very best, right? And until you know for sure that any of these options is what you've been hoping for, what you've been wishing for, girl, you got options or guy, you got options. Whoever you are, like you don't have to rush into anything. You've got your pick. So go ahead and enjoy the moment because you're getting a lot of attention right now. And uh, don't settle. I feel like the star card reversed is just saying, do not settle. You're about to get your wish for fulfillment. One of these options could very well be your wish fulfillment. So be discerning among the options that come forward. Is there any further advice for Libra? Yeah, don't be willing, I mean, don't don't be afraid to reject someone as well. You know, I know Libras, you like to be nice, you like to be diplomatic. Sometimes you just got to say no. You can say no in a nice way, but you don't have to go out with any everybody who asks you. You know what I mean? Um, you can find a polite way of saying no. Because you'll, you're, I mean, you're not going to be like suffering for options, as I said. So don't worry about that. And these people, they'll recover. You know what I mean? It's like, it's actually kinder, I think, to let someone go in the beginning rather than let their emotions get too involved anyway. So don't be afraid to cut some of these options loose if you need to. All right, Libra, that's what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and get the general message for you as well. And for the general message, I've been using the Animal Totem Tarot. I'm going to stick with that. We're going to get an Animal Messenger Guide to deliver your final spiritual message. And it is, I don't remember what this is, on the Tower card... Because I don't see an animal. <laughs> Let me look in the book and see what this is. Okay. Who is our animal messenger? The termite. Okay. I don't know where this little termite is. He's too small to be seen, but he's somewhere on this card. All right, the first part of this is a message from the termite, so that's what I'm going to start out with. Nothing in this world was ever meant to last. 
nor was it ever meant to be created instantly. Step by step, piece by piece is how we create the wonders that are our homes. Slowly but surely, we create something that is beneficial to all involved. Yet we understand the impermanence of all that comes from this harsh physical landscape. But just because something won't last doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. For really, all we ever have is the experience of the journey, not what our ego wants to leave behind. In the middle of the Australian outback are bustling cities, Though, to the untrained eye, these are extremely easy to miss. Most people look out over the sun-scorched landscape of the Australian desert and see vast expanses of nothing. The conditions are so harsh here that even the dirt looks like it belongs in the pits of hell. But if you shift your gaze ever so slightly, you will see a thriving metropolis, complete with skyscrapers, The termite towers of the outback are a reminder that no matter the appearance of the outer landscape, life doesn't just survive, it thrives. These incredible structures truly are a testament to the miracle of the architectural brilliance, but despite their awesomeness, they are still vulnerable to the environment in which they are built. The harsh conditions of the desert aren't just limited to the extreme heat. When the rains sweep in, they unleash the full fury of the clashing heavens. The lesson of the tower and the termite mound is that the higher one goes, the more at risk one is of being struck down. Or another way of looking at it would be, the more the ego needs to be seen and validated, the bigger the blast from the divine. All right, and if you want to read the specific messages here for business and career, etc., you can. But uh, for those of you who like to do some spiritual journaling, journaling, I'm going to read these journal prompts that you could use. What are you reaching for and why? Have you strayed from the path of your inner divinity? Have you merely constructed a monument to your ego. All right, Libra, I am so blessed to have you as one of my viewers. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.